Hello, my name's Clint Wagner with Micro Manipulator Company. And today I'd like to talk with you about Micro Manipulator's newest probe station, our Versa. The Versa represents one of the most significant changes in an approach to analytical probing ever produced. It is truly the most versatile probe station for probing almost any device that you would typically consider as something that you need to probe for your FA or your product development needs. The system can be configured to match exactly what you want. Everything from different optical systems to different manipulator models, all the way from DC probes to high frequency RF probes, all the way up to 40, 67, 100 gigahertz ranges. The Versa system is optimized for efficient flexibility. And by that, we mean it can be used to probe all kinds of substrates, from wafers to boards to exotic substrates with efficient setup and probe positioning capabilities. Versa system flexibility is a product of its design. Let me say that again. You can now test board mounted devices at temperature with the Versa system. This Versa is configured for temperature testing for minus 40 C to 125 C of board mounted devices. Whether your devices are mounted onto an application board, development board, Whatever it is that you're mounting your boards to to exercise them for your FA, your product development, your product test needs, you can now place those boards inside of the Versa temperature chamber and, and stress them from minus 40 C to 125 C, frost free, very easily, very conveniently. We have with this chamber, a special access port that allows us to bring the probes through that access port so that you can access the parts that are on your board that are probably decapsulated so that you could access the silicon. The temperature is controlled by a standard off-the-shelf temperature forcing unit. In this case, we have a Temptronic unit that plugs into the thermal chamber. That's where we get our hot and our cold dry air for the testing. So not only is it very effective in the way that it allows you to probe board-mounted devices at temperature, it's also very easy to do, and it uses devices that you probably already have in your lab. So now with the Versa, it takes the natural progression of a wafer prober that has a hot cold chuck for testing wafers and migrates that temperature capability to the board level efficiently, easily, giving you lots of room to move your parts around inside the chamber. And it can also test wafers inside the chamber. If maybe you probe wafers not so frequently, it can do that as well. I'd like to show you the inside of the Versa thermal chamber that allows minus 40 C to 125 C testing of application board mounted devices. You can see here, we have a highly insulated thermal chamber that allows the hot and cold air to come in from the thermal stream. It evacuates the air, heats or cools. Any part that is inside of this thermal chamber maintains the frost, also has a provision for thermal couples to come in so that you can precisely control the temperature at your device under test, as well as provision to bring in your control cables for your application board. So you're not limited in any way in the functionality of your application board, but now you can easily test with temperature. When you have your application board inserted inside the Versa chamber, the assembly to start temperature testing is very easy. Insert your top plate, the top plate has a cutout that is intentionally off-center so that you could position it to probe anywhere within the 18-inch thermal chamber of the Versa. There are two other plates that complement the top plate, also insulated, so that you can finally put together the assembly and allow your probes to come in through that access port. Holding your application boards in the Versa system with a thermal chamber is very easy. Micro Manipulator provides a variety of ways to hold your application board inside the thermal chamber. What we have here is our most popular pedestal approach where you have your application board mounted to an insulated post that is magnetized so that you can hold it down to the bottom of the thermal chamber inside the Versa. Once you position your towers where you like them, simply put the assembly into the chamber, plug in your control boards, assemble your Versa, and you're off and probing. Versas that are configured for temperature testing use industry standard off-the-shelf thermal forcing units. These units allow Versa to heat and cool your part frost-free so that you can easily probe them. 
You probably already have these devices in your lab now to adapt them to your own Versa, but if you don't, you can also buy them from Micro Manipulator. As you can see by the display on the thermal forcing unit, the temperature of the chamber is currently at minus 40 C, and there is no frost inside the chamber. The versatility in the Versa system comes from many aspects of its design. One of those aspects is the microscope. As with any probe station, you can customize the microscope, choose the microscope and model and magnification that meets your specific application requirements. But with that microscope, it sometimes gets in the way of setup. And that's true certainly on wafer probe stations where the microscope motion is sometimes limited to uh, you know, smaller distances and maybe two by two in the XY. The Versa solves those problems and really opens up a lot of options, whether you're probing on wafers or probing on evaluation boards, application boards, where maybe your part is not in the center of the application board that you're trying to probe. It does that by introducing a new approach to microscope motion. The Versa microscope can be completely moved out of the way, 26 inches by 26 inches of motion, so that you can set up your system. When you're done setting up, move it back into place, lock it down, and then you have fine controls, just like you would have on a regular wafer probe station, for your focusing and for your fine XY motion. In addition to the microscope motion accommodating a wide range of setup requirements, the Versa also addresses a common problem with standard wafer probers with its platens. A lot of times with standard wafer probers, you have a large application board or a sample that is just not really conducive to going inside of a wafer prober. You may have parts that are mounted off center in the application board, or maybe parts that are just really hard to get set up because of the restrictions that a standard wafer prober platen presents. Versa solves that problem by allowing the platens to be unlocked and slid in left and right so that you can position the platens anywhere over a part that you need to probe as well as move the manipulators so that if you have a part, for example, that's in the back left quadrant, you can easily optimize not only the microscope, the manipulator, and the platen to that area so that you can probe. Once you get the platens where you like them and your manipulators, just like with the microscope, you simply lock it down and it's ready for high stability probing. So we've been talking about how versatile the Versa system is for probing a variety of devices, from wafer level devices on standard ambient wafer level chucks, all the way up to thermal chucks for wafer level, and even devices that are mounted on application boards, evaluation boards, development boards, whatever board you might have your part mounted to, probably decapsulated so that we could access the silicon for actual probing. Notice with the Versa how easy it is to switch between devices like wafer or PCB or individual die very easily, very efficiently, very cleanly. Wafer probers struggle with this because they're optimized for probing wafers and have a restricted work area. But with the Versa, with its design and the way everything moves, it's very easy to switch from one device to another. Versa can be configured with ambient and thermal wafer chucks mounted to high precision positioning stages offers wide-ranging PCB holding options for ambient and thermal configurations, can be configured with a variety of microscopes to meet your application needs. You can even fit two microscopes on the Versa. In addition to accommodating setup requirements with the large microscope motion, movable platens, and the other items that you've already seen in this video, the Versa also takes into account the need to get your sample, whatever that sample is, efficiently and easily into the system so that you can continue with your test. So let's say for example that you have decapsulated devices mounted on an evaluation board, prototype board, design board, whatever it is you're using as part of your test scheme for that device, you need to be able to get that into the probe station very efficiently and very easily. That can be accommodated with the Versa in a variety of ways. One of our most popular is our PCB tower. It can be configured with the vacuum base, a magnetic base, or as in this case, a switchable magnetic base. This is designed to hold a variety of board thicknesses, board sizes, accommodate boards that maybe require a little bit more rigidity in certain areas. So you could use multiple of these to hold down a card. Very easy to use, loosen the top, slide the PCB in, tighten the top. You can use as many of these towers as you want. Once you get those in place, you can position it anywhere within the workspace of the Versa and then localize the microscope, platens, and your other hardware to them. The Versa can be easily configured for double-sided probing and imaging as well, allowing you to probe from both sides of the device simultaneously, 
Perhaps you maybe need to do some special imaging from the top for photo emission or whatever your application requires, the Versa can be configured for that. What I'll show you here is how you configure it for that bottom side up imaging. For that, we offer a variety of optics and monocular microscopes for different magnifications, different imaging resolution requirements that are mounted to high precision XYZ stages, giving you fine motion in X and Y and fine focusing capabilities so that you can focus on those devices from the bottom up, allowing you to position probes from that same angle. Sets into the Versa system very easily, just like all the other devices. You have options for magnetic hold down, switchable magnetic hold down, as in this case, or vacuum base. Once you get the system set up and mounted, you simply set it into the Versa system, lock it down for position stability, and you're ready to put the other pieces of the hardware in. What I have here is a device that we wanna insert into the Versa system for bottom-up probing and top-down imaging for photo emission work. Again, you could probe these devices from both sides. What we have here are the standard PCB towers holding a glass substrate that's holding the chip in place. Very easy, just like all the other devices, to insert into the Versa system. Again, you got full flexibility of where you not only position your microscope stage, but also your sample stage. Just like all hardware that can be configured with the Versa system, the accessories are easy to put inside the system and their placement is very flexible with the Versa because you have a wide open, very efficient area to place them, get them set up, get them ready for your probing application. I'll demonstrate to you here how to get all of the accessories with manipulators in place so that you can have your probing done very quickly. I'll start with bottom up probes. They rest on the same surface as the optical stage that's looking up at the sample. We can configure the system with high frequency probes. You see here, I have a five axis manipulator that gives us X, Y, Z, theta, and roll so that you could use high frequency coplanar probes either from the top or from the bottom. And the top side is just as easy. Keep in mind, these platens are designed to not only slide out of the way, but very quickly slide in to the probing area. and you're ready to probe. When you're placing a PCB board inside the Versa, it's very easy to do. The Versa system is designed to accommodate very large or very small PC boards, measuring up to 26 inches square. Once you place your PCB board into your tower, simply insert it into the workspace of the Versa, lock the switchable magnets down, position your manipulators where you like them, move the platen into place. Now they're both locked down for stability. Move your microscope in, lock it down, focus your microscope, you've got find XY control. Again, we have a stereo zoom microscope here, but you can choose any microscope you want from Minitoyo, Seowa, Azoom to meet the application requirements that you have. In addition to making the setup easy, you can also set up your Versa with two microscopes if you have two different imaging requirements. Micro Manipulator is very excited about the new Versa tool and the problems that it solves for our customers. Many of our customers have been dealing with the problems that the Versa easily solves in an efficient manner for many years. Now you can easily probe your board mounted devices, whether you need to do it at temperature, with 10 probes or one probe, a large board or a small board, the Versa makes all of that easy. In addition to probing on the boards, you can also probe a variety of devices from both sides for both imaging and probing. Please contact us today if you have any questions.